Hey everybody, so this is a breakdown of a movement from one of my morning training videos. Got some questions about this. Um, in this video, we're gonna look at the shoulder circles, the raise and the drop, right? If you notice, when I begin, my hips are pretty fixed, my head's facing straight forward, and I'm trying to move that low back and ribs as I draw around and through. Lift, turn, sink. Lift, turn, sink. It's a nice shoulder and back stretch. This comes from Jean Trian, our Liang Bagua, our Li Tai Ji, and our Xin Yi teacher. From here, I can just change directions, roll, lift, and sink. As with everything else, I'm grabbing the ground with my toes, belly's drawing to the spine, and the head neck is raising up. If you're brand new to this exercise, just this basic shoulder movement is a really nice warm up for what comes next. And that's when we put the arms onto the hips. So we've done a lot of work with that external hip rotation. If you have questions about this, please go back to my video titled External Hip Rotation A Deeper Cut. We'll go over all those details for you. If you notice, there's a lifting of the hip and a sinking of the hip. We have a lifting of the arm and a sinking of the arm. And so as with all of our stuff, the hips lead and the arms are just gonna follow. So the hip rolls, bringing the arms up. I'm still looking straight forward as I turn to sink, externally rotating, externally rotating. I see how that right hip comes through, pulling that right arm up. As I draw up and over, sinking with that left hip, after that left hip sinks, it continues this external rotation, priming that right arm to lift, around and sink, lift, around and sink. When we change directions, same thing, right? We're lifting off that left hip now, sinking on the right. In the beginning, the coordination can be enough of a challenge. You might feel your hips getting kind of sloppy and your arms getting kind of sloppy. That's a normal thing, right? As you get more comfortable, again, bringing those basic postural elements we have, the grabbing the ground with the toes, belly drawing to the spine, and head and neck lifting, and all of a sudden, you have the framework you need. Start getting some power and smoothness out of this movement. And again, because the shoulders and hips are correlated, we're working on that correspondence theory right out of our hip roll. Okay, so I hope that helps a little bit in practicing that movement. Um, if you have any other questions, comments, requests, let me know and I'll try to get those up for you. Thank you all so much. Stay safe out there. Different direction.